I call this the Umbreon Paradox. In the last video, we compared Umbreon and its main competitor in Dark-type berries, Houndoom. But what I didn't yet make a point of is the fact that Umbreon takes 150 hours to evolve. Thankfully, its pre-evolution, Eevee, also happens to have favourite berry typing for Snowdrop Tundra, which is the same as Umbreon. But unlike Umbreon, Eevee's main skill gets better as you level up the main skill. Whereas I would say Umbreon's self-healing skill caps at about level 3 or level 4. And you wouldn't really spend any more main seeds on Umbreon, because with the amount of triggers that Umbreon has, at level 4 and 5 main skill, it just does the healing way too much. And if you ask me, I feel like even level 2 is enough for main skill on an Umbreon. As long as you log in frequently enough. So here's the paradox. If you have a purely berry focused Eevee, so let's say it's got a lot of helping speed, it's got berry finding S, and it doesn't have main skill chance or skill trigger, and you plan to evolve your Eevee into Umbreon, and you plan to do that at Snowdrop Tundra, because Eevee will get double the berry strength at Snowdrop Tundra. Well, in fact, Eevee's berry strength combined with its skill at level 6 main skill can provide more than Umbreon's total strength. But if you were planning to evolve Eevee into Umbreon, you would not spend 4 skill seeds before it actually evolves, because then it would be a total waste. Since level 6 main skill on Umbreon makes no sense at all. But if we were to modify the equation a little bit, and instead of giving Eevee purely speed and berry focus, and gave it a mix of berry finding S and skill triggers, it can also outperform Umbreon at Snowdrop Tundra. And I'm going to show you guys the numbers in a bit, but if we had any skill trigger on Eevee at all, would we still pick Umbreon? And this whole dilemma has been giving me a headache. And the more I think about it, the less Umbreon seems like a viable option for long-term play. And there is a second paradox. In the time that it took for you to get Eevee to have enough sleep hours to evolve into Umbreon, you might have completed your Snowdrop team already. Maybe you've already found a Berry Finding S feel, already found a Berry Finding S Houndoom, Raticate, or Vigoroth. And if so, by the end of the 150 hours, maybe you don't even need an Umbreon anymore, since it was always niche to begin with. So let's go over our numbers once again. First of all, we're comparing one of the best stats that you can get for Houndoom versus a purely berry focused Umbreon. And we're looking at their total strength or berry strength, whichever you prefer. Uh, of course, there's going to be some skill strength as well from Houndoom. But let's say about 56,000 for Houndoom if it maintains maximum energy all day. So that means it requires an energy for every one healer. Otherwise, if we were to remove any sort of healing at all, then what Houndoom will produce for berry strength is about 30,000, but gaining some extra one, extra strength in its main skill. So about 37,000. Now we're going to put the energy back to 100 here so that we're keeping our Pokemon at max energy all day. Umbreon also produces about 30,000 in berry strength but it keeps itself healed throughout the day to maintain this strength, whereas Houndoom needs a healer to maintain that top spot. So now the question is, how about if we bring Eevee into the equation, make Eevee an Umbreon competitor as well, because, well, for Snowdrop Tundra, both normal types and dark types are favorite berries. First, let's take a look at the same stats for an Eevee, but we won't use uh, main skill chance down, so I use main skill chance down on this Umbreon. But otherwise, we're going to give Eevee Berry Finding S, Helping Speed, Helping Speed, Speed Up Nature, and then EXP down. So this would be the Eevee that you then evolve into the Umbreon. Now, provided that, again, you have a healer on the team, then Eevee would produce a decent amount of strength at 24,000. Nowhere near a Houndoom with a healer. But what the calculator doesn't yet account for is ingredient strength from its skill triggers. And Eevee triggers ingredient magnet as its main skill. 
And just to give Eevee the benefit of the doubt, we're going to give it the highest possible main skill level, 21 ingredients per trigger for our analysis. Now you wouldn't actually normally give Eevee that much uh, main skill seeds anyway. Even if you wanted to max it, you would only go to level five because then you can evolve it once and then it would go to level six naturally. But just for comparison, we're going to use level six. And accounting for ingredient strength is probably one of the hardest things to do in this game. But I'm going to try and simplify it and I'm going to be conservative. So what we do know is that EV, this EV with lots of speed will trigger 3.2 times a day for its main skill. And for its main skill ingredient magnet S, it can choose three of these ingredients and provide seven of each, totaling 21 ingredients per trigger. If you actually take all of these ingredients, add them all up and then divide by 16, because then we can work out the average strength of the ingredients, you will get 136.6 approximately as the average ingredient strength. And I am assuming that every ingredient has an equal chance to drop, which appears to be the case. There's no reason to assume otherwise. If we then take 21 ingredients times 136.6 times 3.20, which is the number of skill triggers that EV has, we get a base strength from this EV using its ingredients from the skill trigger, which equals about 9,200 in strength. But this number doesn't include recipe bonus and a chance for crit. So using this number as our ingredient magnet strength is very conservative. It would be the minimum strength you can get from the ingredient magnet skill provided that you do trigger the EV about 3.2 times a day. Of course, that means you do need to log in frequently enough to collect those three skills. But if we assume that's the case, we can now add about 9,000 strength to this number, which works out to be higher than Umbreon. Of course, to be fair, we should also remove the energy for everyone healer. So let's say there is no healing at all because Umbreon skill is in itself healing. Then what would happen is Eevee would get less berry strength and also less skill triggers since its speed is going to be lower. But even with only 2.5 times the trigger, we still get about 7,000 strength from Eevee's ingredient magnet, which we can add on top of this number. It makes up to about 24,000 in strength. Once again, not accounting for the fact that dishes can crit, whereas berries can't and also recipe bonus. In other words, Eevee can come pretty close to Umbreon's 32,000 strength if you get lucky with crits and if you manage your ingredients well so that you're not always on maximum bag space having to sell your ingredients for dream shards, then Eevee can work really well. In fact, now that we've figured out that Eevee can be better than Umbreon, if you manage it well, then we really shouldn't be looking at purely speed up because a lot of its power comes from its skill. So what if we modify the EV so that, well, it now gets skill trigger as well. So let's say we take away the helping speed S and also change the speed up to skill trigger and make this EV a mixed berry focus and skill focused EV. Well, I already have the example set up here. And yes, immediately we would see a drop in berry strength because, well, it's no longer as fast. But we do see an increase in the number of skill triggers per day. And with those ingredients, it's about 9.8 thousand in strength. Now, this EV actually comes out to be less in total strength because it has less berry strength, but also even with an improved skill trigger, using a very conservative 9.7 thousand strength, the Eevee would only reach about 23, 24 thousand. 
But this is a more realistic EV to compare with comparing to Umbreon because if you were to use the speed EV, you wouldn't make it level six main skill. You would probably just leave it at level one main skill until it evolves to get level two main skill. Whereas this one here that is both mixed in skill and berry focus, making it probably one of the best EVs ever, being able to focus on both berries and skill, you would consider going to level five main skill and then naturally evolving it to become level six main skill. It's just that if you get this EV, you wouldn't make it an Umbreon. And that is what this paradox is about. So ultimately what I'm trying to do here is compare, well, EV as Umbreon's competitor rather than comparing an EV that would eventually evolve into an Umbreon like this one here as its competitor. And it's almost like a paradox within a paradox because the comparison itself doesn't make sense. You just wouldn't invest all the main skill seeds into an EV that you would evolve into an Umbreon. Yet for a comparison, we should be comparing best with best. And if you were comparing best EV with level six main skill, well, you need to start talking about skill trigger, which then you wouldn't evolve it into an Umbreon since it's got so much skill trigger. Now, I haven't exactly been kind to Eevee. I was really conservative when I looked at the ingredient strength from the magnet. And the reason is, magnet is randomized. You don't know what ingredients you're getting. They could all end up being extra ingredients that you add into a pot. So we've seen the lower limit of what ingredient magnet can do for an Eevee. Why don't we take a look at the upper limit as well so that we can take some number in between in order to understand how good EV actually is. So what we do know is that when you cook recipes, you will immediately get a base bonus depending on what recipe you make. So for example, uh, the corn curry here would get 48% boost to your base ingredient strength. And the more times you cook it, the higher level it becomes. And then this bonus gets higher and higher it becomes a total of 267%. And that is the current highest level bonus plus recipe bonus that you can get from cooking. So from those ingredients, if hypothetically every single ingredient could be used to make the corn curry, we should actually multiply this final number by 3.67. And that's because the highest dish bonus is 267%, but that's in addition to its original strength. So in other words, it's multiplied by 3.67, which is what I've done here. And now you can immediately see these are numbers that Umbreon could only dream of. And that's only from skill trigger alone on the Eevee. But in addition to that, we also know that there's a 10% chance for a dish to crit to get extra tasty. And because each time it does crit, you gain two times the amount of strength on that dish, which means that we should actually multiply this number by 1.1 as well, which is equivalent to saying there's an average crit rate of 10% that provides two times the strength. Now, this excludes any Sunday bonuses. So Sunday, you get three times the dish strength at 30% rate which I'm going to ignore because that would just way overpower the Eevee. And the reason why I'm ignoring it is, well, the value of strength is best at the start of the week, not at the end of the week. So it wouldn't be fair to compare to a berry specialist or a berry focused Umbreon that has been providing strength all week to an Eevee that might only provide strength only at the end of the week. So we're gonna ignore Sunday just for this analysis, but yes, we should also include Sunday in these calculations. It just becomes too complex because then you look at the value of it being at the end of the week. So at a whopping 39,000 ingredient magnet skill strength, if it's at level six for an EV that doesn't get healing, provided that every single ingredient could be used in a, in a best recipe, this is the upper limit number for EV skill strength. And earlier we said the lower limit was about 10,000 in strength. So what we have to do here is now on top of this, add 10 to 
39,000 in strength, which makes this EVs anywhere between 24,000 to 53,000 in total strength. So if we're being nice to Eevee and say that half the time it drops ingredients that you really need for a very powerful dish, that none of the ingredients go to waste, you're able to have enough pot space to include all of it, and you never have to sell any ingredients for Dream Shards. And we're just gonna pick a random halfway midpoint as the total strength from the Eevee. You're looking at about 38,000 in total strength, which I'd say does pretty well for an Eevee that we were expecting to lose to an Umbreon at Snowdrop Tundra, given that Umbreon is its evolution. So bearing all of that in mind, maybe it's better to just have a Berry Finding S Eevee than to evolve it into an Umbreon, especially if you usually have a shortage of ingredients or you don't run enough good ingredient specialists. At the very least, you can fill your pot with some of these excess ingredients from the magnet. And one more consideration is that if you run an Eevee, then you could run one less ingredient specialist. Or if you simply don't have a lot of good ingredient specialists, then an Eevee is a good option with ingredient magnet. Whereas for Umbreon, if you don't have a good E4E healer, energy for everyone healer, then Umbreon is also viable because it can heal itself. So the fact that Eevee can sometimes beat it, sometimes not beat it, but then averaging about the same as Umbreon, puts Umbreon in an even lower tier in my list of evolutions than before. Now, given that energy for everyone healer is top tier skill specialist to have, and most people should at least have one by now or aim to have one soon, so in my opinion, Eevee is going to be easier to use in your teams than an Umbreon. And they tackle the same area. So then the next question is, why not evolve this Eevee into Vaporeon? And the problem is, at Snowdrop Tundra, if you look at the total strength of the Eevee and the total berry strength, a Vaporeon would actually underperform because it's not favorite berry but where it would shine is to provide even more ingredients for you. But I have a feeling that with this many ingredient triggers, you're either not going to be collecting it frequently enough to be worth it, but also if Eevee was just about filling up your ingredient bag, not having to sell any excess ingredients, well, Vaporeon is definitely going to take you over that bag limit and forcing you to start selling your ingredients. And it's not a bad thing, it's just that, well, is it worth the trade-off for berry strength at Snowdrop Tundra? So in other words, the day you decide to evolve your Eevee, your skill and berry-focused Eevee, into a Vaporeon, should be the day that you decide that you're done with Snowdrop Tundra. But then again, if you find that you're always short on ingredients in your bag, then perhaps you should go for Vaporeon, but that's subject for another video.